Hot Springs Village Inside Out is a closer look at the greatness of Hot Springs Village, Arkansas and the surrounding areas, people, places, experiences. Hot Springs Village is one of the most beautiful places on earth. Join me, Randy Cantrell, and my co-host Dennis Simpson as we engage in weekly conversations to explore Hot Springs Village Inside Out. Today's show is brought to you by Central Arkansas's favorite radio station, KVRE. Find them on the dial at 92.9 FM. Stream them live at kvre.com. Remax of Hot Springs Village. The award-winning Remax of Hot Springs Village is the largest real estate office inside the village with over 30 full-time agents and support staff. Visit them to learn more about this beautiful place to solve your real estate needs. Call them today at 1-800-364-9007. Find them online at explorehsv.com. They are Remax of Hot Springs Village at 1-800-364-9007 or online at explorehsv.com. Ike Eisenhower State Farm. Ike and his award-winning team have been serving the insurance needs of folks all around Hot Springs Village since 1998. Ike has qualified for State Farm's President's Club, Chairman's Circle, and Hot Springs Village Insurance Agent of the Year. Call Ike Eisenhower State Farm today at 501-984-4100. That's 501-984-4100. Find them online at IkeEisenhower.net. Call them today for all your insurance needs because, like a good neighbor, Ike Eisenhower State Farm is there. Just when you think we have interviewed everybody possible, we find Miss Cheryl. Miss Cheryl, how are you doing today? I'm great. How are you, Dennis? Doing well. And the people that know you well know that you're down at the Century 21 office as you come in the West Gate, right? Yes, that is correct. And- and you've been here more than a year, a couple of years, maybe a decade or so, maybe? Mm, me, myself, living here almost three three decades. Really? How long have you been at, at Century 21? I, I've never, we never talked about this. 2002. You know, I, I we were walking out of a bar the other day and it said, you must have been, been, been born by 2002 to be old enough to drink. And I was like, you have got to be kidding. Really? <laughs> that seemed... Like yesterday. Anyway, so the reason we're talking today is because you have some illuminating facts at the West End, I think would be really enjoyable for some folks. I agree. Tell me how you do that when you started all that. And for those that don't know, let me give you the five mile high view. As you come in the West Gate at particularly dark, which now that it's daylight savings time is what, about 430? Yeah, yeah. Close. Feel, feels that way, feels that way. But as you come in the West Gate, as you look to the right, the Century 21 offices are right there on the right-hand side. Lovely location, great offices, super, super nice people. And there's a whole bunch of lights there. What? How do we do this? What do you? How do I know? How do I know what I'm listening to or seeing? Right. Well, you can pull into the parking lot, the main parking lot, and there is a sign on the embankment that gives some directions in case people forget. You would dial your AM or FM radio to 88.1 and be able to listen to the music and watch the lights dance to the music. So for those that haven't seen it yet, and we'll insert some video here in a minute, it's a synchronized light show that plays with the music, and it's obviously holiday music. And I love the music too, right? Yes, there are those a few odd music things that we kind of snuck in just for fun. (laughs) But, but, and, and my background here, when, when I record a show or a radio show for the weekends, we use what's called multi-track. And that is, is that we, you know, put the music here and put the voice over here and the music back here and whatever. That's effectively what's going on with this light show. And it's, it's surprisingly complicated and sophisticated. It looks like. It is. We purchased the sequences from a couple of different sources. And then we put the show in the order that we want to hear the songs. Really? And we have there's a software program on my laptop we save all of the data to an sd card and it plugs into the player which is an it has an mp3 they call it a director yeah and yeah, yeah. starts when the power is on we've got them set up on timers they come on at i think it's 
I think my husband set it up at 515 and it goes off at 11. And okay, as long so as it's don't... not storming, the show will run. Storming or after 11 o'clock, right? Yes, true. So, so a lot of people know the Westgate, and I'm talking to the whole general populace here. A lot of people know the Westgate is the gate that's open 24 hours. So, you know, if, if it's after 10, you're coming in that way anyway, because the East Gate closes at 10. All that to say, how long have you done this? And I, I'm not trying to be nosy, but it doesn't look cheap, Cheryl. I love the program, and my granddaughters think it's the bomb. Well, I'm glad that they're enjoying it. We started this as a labor of love. Uh, let's see about, but 2014. Really? So almost 10 years ago. And it grew from a very small beginning. And mm -hmm. each year we add additional props or change the entire show. The POA approached us a couple of years ago and asked if we would be able or if they could get us to help decorate the center islands which we hadn't done before that only started in 2021 you're, you're whoa, whoa, whoa. the center island as you turn in the west gate the area between the incoming and outgoing yes did that you is do something the icicles? we always did really D did you do the icicle lights this year yes we added the icicle lights and we try to change up that front part every year and I think we've got to add some blue net lights. They're not quite dark enough for to see in the very, very front because of yeah. the other traffic lights. The icicle lights with the blue on top are gorgeous. The whole thing, and, and don't get me wrong, you don't be offended here, but I thought a professional company did that. I mean, it looks <laughs> fantastic. It really, don't, don't be offended, you know, but I mean, it really does look fantastic. I think what I'm trying to say today is, is if you come in the West Gate, and as you come in the West Gate, you see a little dancing light on the right-hand side. Pull in the parking lot and turn your radio to 88.1, and you will get a heck of a show. It's, I mean, it's a lot of fun, and it's free, right? Yes, it is. To, to the public. <laughs> well, everybody's public, correct? <laughs> <laughs> it's not exactly free for you. So you started this about 2014. Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea how many people come in the parking lot? Or, I mean, it's... No idea. Um, it, it varies. I know the weekends are probably more people. And as it gets closer and closer to Christmas, when yeah. school's out, there'll be more people visiting. And mm -hmm. I have no idea, to tell you the truth. I, I will tell you this. We pulled in, I, in the last few years, we've been there maybe three or four times. And there, you know, we'll pull up on a Tuesday night and there'll be a few more cars there with us. But I got news for you. On a weekend, you may have trouble finding a good spot because it, it goes on. And I, I mean... You sit there for 20 or 30 minutes in the comfort and warmth of your car. Wink, wink, hint, right? hint. And the show is just real. I'm, I keep thinking, okay, well, I've seen, well, no, that's pretty, well, that's pretty cool. I hadn't seen that before. I mean, couldn't go kudos. Seriously, it's awesome. It's an awesome light show. We will change the cards throughout the season. So it, it will, it does change. And then usually right before New Year's, I'll put together some kind of wilder music and, let that play through New Year's Eve. And then the show gets shut down on New Year's Day, and that's done until the next year. Wow. You know, it's a parts of it. Don't take this wrong either. Parts of it kind of reminded me of Blue Man Group because it would be a little more modern music and a lot of fancy lights and it, it, the syncopation. The, anyway, uh, the one of the times we called, I called you to check about this show and see if you could record for us. And what were you doing at that exact moment when I called, Miss Cheryl? Oh, gosh, what was I do? I was driving down you the were, road going somewhere. No, 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 no. The first time I called, you were troubleshooting those stinking oh, lights. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, I was up on the hill trying to get the sequences to match. We were uploading some firmware. That's right. So now that you explain what the director is, the piece of software that encodes that, that makes a lot more sense and I can understand. But, I mean, truly, I wish I we maybe we'll entitle this episode "Where to Go See Great Lights for Free" because all you have to do is drive in the West Gate, turn it your radio, and and I I actually am thinking I played eighty eight point one. I played the music just about down to the Soto Golf Course. I mean it it goes quite a way, and the music's great. the The shows are great. I I can't encourage you enough. It's a great thing to do for free with, especially with your kids. But it's really really enjoyable. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Well, Cheryl, it's been great having you. I just wanted to drop in and say hi. 
plug the light show. We're going to come back around. You do something with, what is it, real estate? Isn't that what you do? Yeah, I think I do real estate a little bit here and there. We'll come back around to that soon. For Hot Springs right. Village Inside Out, I'm Dennis Simpson. She's Cheryl Borland. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks, dude. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>